process that has come out of the OCG because it is very impactful in a lot of ways. And it actually might cross over into our list, though I'm very doubtful for other reasons, and I'll get into that at the end of this. Uh, but there's actually quite a bit of changes here, and there's quite a number of things that I'd like to discuss that is pertaining to this list, as well as future decks that are going to be affecting the OCG. Now, uh, the the reason why I haven't been making videos, let's start off with that, the reason why I haven't been making videos is because at the current state of the game, it's not in the most desirable position for me to play. Um, despite that, I did go to the regionals last weekend. I played True Draco Zoo, and I kind of scrubbed out because I only had, I didn't have any play testing with the deck. <laughs> and and um, I, 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 I didn't really care. I was, I was doing it just because it was kind of fun. But, and the deck is actually kind of fun when you get the hang of it. And when, when it does get rolling, it's actually really, really fun to play. But um, the thing about it is, is that this deck kind of is one of the most oppressive decks I've ever seen in a long time. I haven't seen a deck more oppressive than this since Dragon Rose. And that's, that's, that's 2012. That was, that was literally five years ago. So... Let's just jump right into the ban list. Obviously, we're gonna go the, go through this piece by piece. I might skip a few things, and I might actually forget something. So if I do forget it, please let me know. But anyway, let's just jump right into it. So the first two cards we have here are the newly forbidden uh, cards: Masterpiece, the True Draco Slain King, and Dragonic Diagram. Everyone has been saying that Masterpiece is kind of like Towers in a way. It's 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 pretty much invincible, and it has a ridiculously good effect. Instead of taking cards out of your opponent's hand. It automatically pops a card during either player's turn by banishing a continuous spell or trap and it's it's that, that that's essentially what it is it's kind of insane how the card how how um how absolutely dumb this card can actually be um especially when you consider that under true under under dragonic diagram it can't it, it can't be destroyed by battle not only is it immune by two different variants like it could be immune to spell and trap it could be immune to trap a monster spell monster etc uh, it also can't be destroyed by battle under true uh, under under dragonic diagram uh, at least once per turn and it gains 300 attack which is absolutely insane so i think this card could actually be zero in, it's 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 fine in dragonic diagram everyone has been saying that this card probably could have stayed at two or three I mean, I could kind of see it, but I think they just really want to get rid of this deck as soon as possible and just not worry about it anymore. And uh, I think with true with with Dragonic Diagram being at one, it's it still poses a big threat to being a really really powerful engine, despite the hits that are going for it. Next, we're going to focus on the limited cards. Uh, the first card that is actually really interesting that like, actually caught my eye when I first saw this saw this list before the ban list cards and ban cards actually is Tribe Infecting Virus. Tribe Effective Virus does not need an errata to substantiate the fact that it should be at 1. In fact, this card could probably be at 3, and it probably wouldn't matter that much. Um, to be fair, it does work really, really well in Mermails. That I'm, I'm going to give it that. But I, and Mermails are getting some new support in Circuit Break, so seeing this card go to 1 might actually push them to be a little bit better on the on the list. So... And it, oh, but other than that, I think it's all mostly irrelevant. We we, we live in a, a format where we play a bracket key and two Dark Hole, and we also have two Kaiju Slumber. So, uh, it, the Tribe Infected Virus is kind of just a moot point. It's kind of just there and doesn't really need to exist uh, on the on the ban list anyway. Alistair is really interesting because it allows you. It, it, it's such a powerful such a powerful card by itself but it's it, it the invoked archetype by itself is kind of flawed because it's specifically designed around this one monster it's kind of this this hitting this one card to one kind of kills the deck uh but i think i think it's that's just it's kind of like the dragon ruler effect they hit dragon ravine because dragon rules was so was was so dominant they hit this card because the the spell book draco uh true draco uh, invoke deck was so powerful it's kind of just collateral damage i don't necessarily agree with that and i think that i th i think konami should probably consider other decks before hitting certain engines like if they if 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 this was if, if this was like metaphos era and they like decided to ban like cleefort scout because it was so powerful in in um in metaphos i think they would should they, they should reconsider that thought because uh, because it's it, because it's not Cleefort's fault that Metaphos is abusing it. It's actually Metaphos's fault. So I think this card this card is a little bit unnecessary, but I understand the logic behind it. Dynamite Knight, the True Draco Fighter. Now, uh, when I played uh, the True Draco Zoo deck, this is not coming from anybody who's been experienced with the deck at all. Um, I played two of this card. 
The reason for that is because this card is actually really, really bad going second. And the Ign Ignis is actually really good going with the going, um, going second, and I would play three of that card. Uh, but this card is actually really good uh, because it gives you, I think it's the trap one. I always, I always get them mixed up, but this one gives you the traps, uh, I think. But it's 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 it, the fact that it gives you such such at at hand removal is pretty insane. Yeah. Both um uh, both return and um and apocalypse are both instant pop cards, and all you got to do is just tribute them, and you immediately get a pop. And also they synergize with dra with their dragonic diagram, but that's you know Soul Eater Oviraptor, and I'm gonna throw a Baby Saurus in this as well because they they they're part of the same deck. Baby Saurus, uh, I think is a little unnecessary. Uh, I honestly believe that it should probably be fine where it is, but I guess they want to kill the deck as soon as possible. Uh, and they don't want that card, and they don't want this card, this deck to be anything short of decent. Uh, having the ability to special summon a level 4 lower uh, dinosaur monster from the deck is pretty powerful when it dies, and Dragonic Diagram did fuel that need really well because you would just summon this card activate dragonic diagram dragonic diagram again was like pop baby source special summon level four add like stupid card doesn't matter what card it is and then you know you go you go on about your play you summon soul soul, soul eating over reactor which is a pretty good card uh abc buster dragon i think um <clears throat> i think this card's uh a, a little too soon <clears throat> because i think um uh, ABC as a whole has had, has had like I don't know a moderate success in the OCG. I know it's been like I know it's taken taken first place spots before, but it's not on the same level as it used to be. We they're in, they're essentially in a tier zero spiral format, which if you haven't seen that spiral stuff, that spiral system is actually insane. Um, and it kind of out kind of overshadows all the other decks right now, except for like True Deco, obviously the dinosaur deck. But overall, I think Buster is a little unnecessary, but. They they wanted to kill. I guess they wanted to kill everything from the past meta and just move on. Danglong, uh, people were actually people are actually calling for this card to be banned, and that and I want to tell you why that's absolutely insane. One is actually kind of the perfect number for this card. Uh, the reason for this is because without Danglong, Yangzings do absolutely nothing. Yangzings cannot are not on the same power level as every other deck. Now, I understand why people want it banned, because it's such a powerful card in Dinosaurs, but it's not, again, it's kind of the same why they hit, the same reason why I think Alistair should probably be, should probably be fine. It's not Alistair's fault because uh, it's being abused. It's not Denglong's fault because it's being abused. Denglong is specifically built for Yang Zing, not Dinosaurs. So, I kind of think that, that this card should should probably be it's fine where it is it's it's a powerful card and it's definitely one of the cards that should be a one but i think it's 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 kind of uh it's kind of a just a, a new point here i think Denglong is fine at one uh, terraforming i have said for a long time now that terraforming should probably be at one the reason for this is because it's not upstart or uh, no 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 it's not reinforcement armory or fire prevention tanky is neither of those cards it's more uh, more akin to Upstar Goblin. It is three blank cards in your deck, and you play it for free. That card does not a card. Uh, no card in the game should be that free. I think Pot, Pot of Greed should still be at zero because it's so free. And not only that, if you look past uh, if you look past that, and you go back to the decks that are like from let's say from 2013 all the way up till now, uh, there's actually quite a number of of, of decks that have used and abused terraforming because of how good it is. Decks like Cosmos, Monarchs, and FDK was spawned out of using terraforming. Uh, ABC, uh, True Draco, you know, all, the, all those decks utilize a really powerful field spell. And in those decks, it's not... It's, it's better than Upstart Goblin, in my opinion. So I think the card should be at zero. Or at one. It might actually be banworthy sometimes in some instances, but I don't, I don't want to stretch that far yet. Uh, Spellbook of Secrets. Now, again, I don't really like hitting engine cards specifically because engine cards are what they are. They're just an engine. They're just a means to an end. They're just extensions of the combo. And I think that if you're hitting an, an engine, what does that say about the engine? Is the engine powerful enough? I don't think spellbooks are powerful enough to be uh, as an engine to be considered a threat. 
And I think Spellbooks as, as a whole, as a deck, is probably not worth mentioning either. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. They decided to hit Secrets because actually it is kind of like, uh, it is actually very much like uh, Tanky or, or uh, Reinforcement of the Army. But I think, I think Tanky should be a one, but they put it at three because it's that good. I don't know. True Draco Heritage and True Draco Return. This is just them just nailing the coffin in the deck. These two cards are actually pretty, pretty, really, really strong. Uh, these cards are absolutely crazy. So, uh, ha having 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 ability to draw cards based on the cards based on the number of cards you pop during that turn that are different, and having a, having an immediate pop if you need it is really insane. Uh, not only that, these cards are basically better than Double Summon because it allows you to tribute summon. On your opponent's turn, as if you're if you're a true king return, and in heritage it adds it acts like double summon. It's really stupid. And trix card reincarnation. I think that this card is more or less kind of a kind of a a, a a bad thing on Konami's part. The reason why I think this card should probably be at one is because of Konami's blunder. They should have made this card trick star specifically. They should not have made this generic. They made this too generic for it to be to be safe and if this card was just generic if this card wasn't generic if, if, if it was just a trick star card it probably would be okay but since this card is actually as generic as it possibly can get for a milk card it should be at one possibly being worthy because it spawns ftks in here next we're going to move on to the semi limits there's actually there's actually uh, not as many semi limits as there are limits or elements but we'll get into that later seven among I think this is, I, I guess it's fine. Uh, we have Summoner Monk at 2, and it's not doing anything. I think Summoner Monk could probably go to 3, and it'd be fine. Uh, Wind Witch Ice Spell. You can still make your Crystal Wing under this. It's not really that big of a hit. It's kind of just a tap on the tap on the wrist. Say, if, don't do not do that again, or else we're actually going to do something to you. Maxi is the one that I'm actually really frightened about, because I believe that in, in all senses, Maxi is a healthy card. The reason for this is because it, it it forces your opponent to always play around what you have in your hand. If you even if you just have one card that is that gives your opponent the reason to play around Maxi, it doesn't even matter if you have Maxi in your hand. If Maxi is at three, then it provides a more skillful play. It provides a more skillful game gameplay game set. Now people will just be able to special if if Maxi over here gets banned, people can just special summon with no consequences, and that's not something that I'm I'm wanting to do. I'm willing to willing to live with. I think Maxi should be at three. I think the OCG hitting it is kind of just telling us that hey, we might actually see Maxi at zero. Uh, but Pot of Avarice, I think the card's largely irrelevant. Uh, I I think that card could probably be at three here and two, three in the OCG and it probably wouldn't matter. Uh, it's too slow even for even for how fast you uh, if, no matter how fast you can get cards in your de in your graveyard it's still a little too slow. Um, Future Fusion uh, I guess they're still a little bit worried about this card but I mean there's really nothing to be worried about this card has, has, is kind of killed but you know it's it's whatever. Fossil Dig uh, the, the uh, Falsidic is actually on one of the cards uh, are on a list of cards that I've deemed should always be at one. Uh, it's much, much like machine duplication, fossil dig, reinforcement, fire formation, tanky, uh, terraforming. Uh, any cards that is inherently uh, free and, and falsa dig is pretty free uh, should probably be at one because those cards just add to, add to deck thinning way too much. And next we're gonna go on to the unlimited. There's actually quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, n not all of it's relevant, so I might skip some of it. Like, uh, w uh, Witch of the Black Forest uh, is pretty relevant. Burial from the Different Dimension is pretty relevant. Uh, Domain is pretty relevant, and uh, in some senses, I guess Dragon Heart Regions is pretty relevant. But there's actually quite a few cards that are actually pretty relevant. Uh, the first card is Perform Palpendulum Sorcerer. The reason why this card is probably okay is because they started actually doing things in the uh, OCG, but I think. The way that pendulums are structured at this point in time, I think that pendulums are just going to be like one of those things where if it works as a meta deck, it's going to work as a meta deck. If it doesn't, then it's just not going to. Uh, rescue Cat. Rescue Cat's at three, which makes uh, rescued, uh, that rescued card uh, really, really strong. Uh, having more searches or searchable targets is really good. I think all the rescued cards are at three now, uh, which means it, it could feasibly be an engine. Far from Mission Tanky, that card should still be at one. I don't care what anyone says; it's free, even though even though it's slightly more risky than other cards like uh, 
like Rota, it's it still should be at one. Pre prep always should be at one. Another one of those cards that I that I have on one list that should be at one. The because preparation lot rights is really really stupid because it searches two cards actually. It can search two cards. That's for free. That's that's really stupid. Plus Necros can actually do some things in the in, in the OCG. If shirts remains banned, then we might be okay. It should still be at one regardless. Uh, Sacrifice. Sacrifice is at three. They are getting we are getting Cleefort support, so that's probably why this card's gonna be at three. Uh, same thing with Wavering Eyes. The Wavering Eyes is a little bit scary because it it it's it's super it's super value. It's, this card is super duper value. It's it's one of those cards where if you want to be greedy, it will reward you for being greedy. And it, there's literally no downsides to this card. This card is literally the epitome of what pendulum cards should be now. Um, so I think overall, I think for the most part, the OCG did pretty decently on this list. There are a few things that I'm kind of concerned about. Um, I think they could have done a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain. This list is actually pretty solid as a list in general. It's one of their weaker lists in the past years, but it's, it's still on the par. They've done what they needed to do and that's hit and killed the dinosaur and true Deco deck. Now we're going to see is a spiral is a tier zero format and, and, if we receive and if we get notice of the Clay Fort League monster, that deck actually might be pretty good uh, because I think they have everything at three minus like the floodgates. But that's you, know, you could play it as like a spam beat down deck. It'd be, probably be pretty good. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this list in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think about um, all that's happened. I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Metamorphose, and I'll be sending out.